the Chicago Black Caucus is calling for the superintendent, uh, McCarthy, as well as uh, the uh, state's attorney, Anita Alvarez, uh, to step down, like it or not, with Michael Lane. And Michael Lane is who I be. What up, y'all? Uh, so let's continue on in the discussion of uh, Laquan McDonald's shooting. I want you all to take a look at this report where the Black Caucus, the Democratic Blacks, are taking a stand. Yeah. Dana, Steve, an angry black caucus addressing the media this morning. They, too, calling for the firing of Gary McCarthy. This is the second time they have gone on record saying so, and they're actually taking it up a notch, saying at the next city council meeting, they will introduce a resolution saying they have no confidence in his work and calling for his official ouster. They also called for a more clear and transparent process, saying they know that there are more Laquan McDonald's out there. When the media to seek to condemn people in the community for not working with law enforcement on murders, let this case be a part of your answer. When you wait almost 400 days for justice on something this clear, yet four hours to indict a young man, Malcolm London, on felony charges, is it any wonder that people don't have faith in this system, that the system will protect them or bring them justice? The 15 black aldermen also vowed to work with other caucuses within the city council to review the fraternal order of police contract to make sure that it includes tougher sanctions and policies when it comes to police misconduct. But when asked why they approved a $5 million settlement with the family of Laquan McDonald without seeing this video, they say they were all misled by the Emanuel administration about what the video showed. We were misled in terms of whether or not this particular tape showed some gray area where it needed to be investigated for all this period of time. It appears to everybody who has seen that tape, and I could fathom to say I speak for the entire caucus, that it did not and should not have taken a full year to determine what happened when all the facts were known and it was a clear video to show it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Can I keep it raw? I'm going to keep it raw. I'm going to keep it real. That's a bunch of a garbage. You hear me? Because let me tell you something. There ain't no way in the world these guys can be naive. You know what they're doing? They're saving face. These people that have been up there, some of them been up there for decades. Been voted in by these black folks for decades. You mean to tell me out of all that time, they don't know about the corruption, the continuous corruption, the continual corruption uh, of uh, the Chicago Police Department handed out by their mayor, mayor of their party and their policies? You really want to you really want to buy into that, that they really didn't know we were misled. We were misled. How in the world were you misled? When you know that you, that, well, you know personally that the investigation was not even over. Over a year, and it wasn't over. But yet, they're giving this family $5 million of hush money. Come on now, let, let's tell the truth now. This corruption is game recognized game. This corruption has been going on for centuries. And if your story, usually it, for the, those black people who get screwed in Chicago, if your story is not extraordinary, if you'd like uh, maybe losing your life, they're not going to bother with it. They may reach out and ask for help or whatever you can. They ain't going to help you. You may do it. But if you ain't dead or close to it, they ain't going to say nothing. Or if, it, if it's a story that may make the city look bad. That's the only time. Other than that, it's business as usual. It's been going on for decades, man. This ain't new. This ain't new. These are the same people that sat around. you talking about, look, Anita Alvarez sat there, watched the whole thing, and did nothing. She's supposed to be this prosecutor. They all wash their hands. They all hold their hands. They all look out for one another. That's Superintendent McCarthy. 
and as Anita Alvarez. But not only are they calling for their heads, but black people are. And here's the problem. Nobody's saying anything about Rahm Emanuel. You think Rahm, Rahm Emanuel is like the manager of a team. That's what you do. You have different appointees. You may have a pitching coach. You may have this, that, and that. You have all that. Pitching coach, uh, batting coach. And you got to manage all of that. And that's what he does. But nobody's calling for his head. And you know why? Because it's going to be the same old dance. We love us some Ryan Emanuel, some mm-hmm. And we going to keep on votes and foes These old the Democrats are... Uh, the Dem you're saying you want it to stop, but you want it to continue. That's basically what you're telling us. We want all the killings of the black people uh, to stop us, but we want them to continue. And then they say the worst thing to happen to black people is people like me, who are black conservatives. Really? Well, you can time, constantly, time in, time out, vote for the same people with different names. Hell, all these black people came in and showed nothing but love and support to Richard Daly, knowing, knowing that he was the state's attorney that helped lock dozens of innocent black men up after they were being tortured by John Burge. It's nothing but a connection. It's a connection. It's, a, it's just a link that continues to go on and on and on. And still, you continue to vote for it. What are you doing pissed off, black man? It's like black people love hurting each other. Whether it's killing each, killing each other. Because ain't no noise being made of a Tyshawn Lee. I saw nine people march. And it ain't nearly the number of the people marching now for Laquan McDonald. We don't care about us killing us. That's, what, that's the message that we're sending to police. We're telling the police officers, don't kill us. Let us do it. And here's the Black Caucus trying to get their faces uh, uh, out of problems and put themselves in a better light, in a good light. They're part of it. I don't care what color you are, you still can carry out racist policies. Look at Baltimore. The power is within your hands. Stop telling people to step down and you step up and fire them by your votes. And stop voting in these same old crooks that's going to continue to do the same things to you. Just a little advice. And don't be fooled by these people. Don't be fooled. Because they ain't doing nothing but running game. I told you in my other video. Go to Like It or Not Politics 1. It's all one word, okay? The, the link is in the description box. And go look for that video that I did with John Burge and Mayor, da Mayor Daly. But still, you black folks still voted this man in. This racist mayor. You loved him. You voted for him. Barack Obama, who is not black. Barack Obama let's, did, never said anything about him. If you want to race bait, you need to race bait against your own party. But he's not going to do that. That's why he's not hardly saying anything with here in Chicago. He's just saying a little something. Well, you know, just let's just oh, he try to say something a little good about the cops this time. You know why? Because they're Democrats. He don't give a damn about you being locked up, me being locked up. I got screwed by the cops. Ain't nobody saying nothing. But again, I had to be dead. That's the only time they march and put my name up there. Because I had to die. Because we black people love dead black people. We're screwed up. And now we got these little sambos out there shining. Shining bright for the white man and trying to get themselves out of that. Weezum did not know. Yes, you did. Like it or not. I, I can't. Like it or not. Like it or not.